Light is a poisonous, poisonous dart Forever seeking out the darkest part Forever, forever, forever your heart Well, that was a bunch of fun. I kind of found it. Good. Keep taking them out. Alright, where's the safe room? <clears throat> Give me the safe room, Alan Wake, you riding junkie. Alan Wake sort of did this to himself though for being unconscious. For getting taken to the dark place. Actually no, it wasn't it's what innocent people get taken there all the time. Yeah, and this is the thing, like you could you can blame it on anyone. You could blame it on Barry for uh, like agreeing to let him go on the holiday, you could blame it on Alice for taking him to the cabin, you could blame it on everyone. But no, the devil just comes and take gets some people. Mm. Barbara Jagger and Thomas saying they did nothing, bro. Bad things happen to good and innocent people all the time. And that's the sad reality of life for no reason bad things do happen. And that's the point. That's like, there is no reason for evil. It just exists and we have to understand and, you know, be able to combat it and fuck it off. The edge of my dick. Oh, there's no, is there any, can I change reality? I can't even, do we have to get out of here? Shoe box, break room, thing, echo, okay, I guess we're not done here yet, we're not even done here yet bro, I wanted to get back to Saga Anderson, I wanted to play more Saga Anderson, what's that lawnmower? unseen audience on me. I wanted to turn to the hidden camera and tell them to fuck off. But I didn't know where to look to break the fourth wall. There would always be another case for Casey. A million stories in this dark city. The night opened up to welcome me. I walked into her arms. Roll credits. But they have a little seal on it. It's like an envelope and it's got a little stamp, stamp, stamp on it. That's like 100% pure. Like so that you know it's good quality. What do you mean, whatever? Oh, no, not you. No, you get a little stick, you get a little, it comes mm. in an envelope. Sorry, like I wasn't listening. This, when you get, when you buy this, right? If you bought this in another country, it'd be in a little envelope and it would have a little seal on it that says it's good quality. Mm. Like, that's how you're supposed to get it. I know, you just gotta ask the one. And it'll buck you up. Did we get a new plot? Could you pass me later? Click the last film? No, we didn't either. <laughs> I'm guessing we just leave, bro. I'm guessing we just go into the... Can I leave in here, actually? Can I leave here? I want to play more Saga Anderson, Alan, please. Please.
Please, Alan, I just want to play more Saga. <clears throat> and do you want to play more Saga, Anderson? Yeah. I'm trying to get us back so we can No, play. but finish the story. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm trying to get, like, oh. Saga Anderson. sense of honor and justice in a city where there can never be justice. Where in the good googly moogly am I? Trying to get back to the janitor's closet. City. The night opened up to welcome me. I walked into her arms. Roll credits.
Onko täällä ketään? Ahti! <tos> Sanovat, se joka varjoon tyytyy, valon ihmeestä paitsi jää. <tos> Paskat housussa. Kontta suojan puolella änkyrä kännissä ja huus ja sopertelijät. Armo, armo, rakkas veli, anna armo, mä kuolen. Ai saatan. Tuhlaajapujan paluu. Ja häntä kuipien välissä. 
Oliko hakemaan anteeksi anta? Uutiset mistään paluusta ovat ennenaikaisia. Tulin vain käymään. Ja nyt kun muistan millaista tämä touhu täällä on, en viivy kauaa. Missä veljesi luuraa? Pisti hengiltä. Rupes käymään aivoa se aina länkytys. Uhrilla ja mestarilla. Mutta ei se paska veli kelvan edes siihen. Sä olit mestarin valittu. Vaikka mä koskaan ymmärtänyt, että miksi. Päiviltä pitäis sinutkin pistää. Mitä on? Nyt tuli tupen rapinat, poika. Leikataan parta! Leikataan pojalta parta! Miksi palasit? Kun kerran lähdit? En aikonut. Mutta nyt löydän itseni täältä. Nyt on kai kirottu. Kirjoitettu sadistisen kirjailijan tarina. Kierrän kehää. Maa on syklinen laulu. Miten siellä valtion kontrollivirastossa menee? Määrä virasto. En ole siellä töissä. Sitä paitsi. Sain potkut. Ei olisi tarvetta talonmiehen apulaiselle. Ei ole. Tämän tilan isäntä katosi yön selkää vuosia sitten. Sen jälkeen kun sinä lähdit. Merkit on ilmassa, että multakin loppuu hommat pian. Siksi kyselen virastosta. Ehkä saan sieltä töitä. Malja. Mille juomme? Yöttömälle yölle. Palasit luoksemme vasta. Sanotaan, että Aleen kurkotti liian pitkälle yön syövereihin. Eikä löytänyt sieltä enää pois. Kannattaa varoa sitä Aleenin mustaa leskeä. Taisit olla vähän heikkona häneen. 
pelkäsin häntä. Me pojat oltiin aina vähän toivottomia naisten kanssa. Riitti vie sinut tuon puoleiseen. Hän palaa. Ja sinut lukitaan huoneessa. En kierrä kehää. Tämä on spiraali.
kuin painajainen hän luoksesi saapuu. Hänet verhot tuon varjojen kaapuun, monta tarinaa hänestä kerrotaan. Häntä pakoon et pääsessä milloinkaan, hän peilistä sua tuijottaa. Murhan polte se kruunoi mua, tuon katseen tunne et voi unohtaa, vai kasvot piiloutuu. was ringing again. 
Somehow I sensed it wasn't Zane this time. either. Huh? You're me? Me? I don't understand. There's a lot I don't understand. A dark place operates in loops. Time is a story. I'm calling you from a different point in that story. From the future? I'm never getting out of here, am I? Yes, you will. And no, you won't. And that is by your own choice. What does that mean? I'm sorry for what you'll have to go through. You need to go back to the talk show studio basement. Get Alice's photos from a shoebox there. Before you can go to Parliament Tower, you must put the photos into the shoebox at her statue at the plaza. To help you, to help Alice, to help Saga Anderson. I'm my own deus ex machina? Really? How many writers does it take to finish a story? One for each draft. It's the same writer, but in a different point in time. I follow the steps he laid out for me. This is the in the talk show building basement. I had to go back to get them. I bring the photos to the shoebox by the statue. Alice's photos were in the talk show basement. I had to bring them to the plaza show. Alice's photos. I recognize the style. One showed the clicker sinking into darkness. The other showed a light in the shape of a bullet. I need to get them to the plaza.
I had the photos now. I needed to put them into the shoebox by the statue.
Yeah, we're playing socket in the city. You ready? Oh no, bolts. That was a waste. Oh shit. Oh. Oh lord. Oh, hey, hello. I missed. To your right, I think. before this somehow works this corner. He's gonna be there now. Damn. Bro, oh, come on. searched the behind, <coughs> everything behind us already searched this is the right way I think because we haven't been here before I don't think we've been in here at all shops at all. Mm -hmm. I was going to say about Christmas, it's like, bro, I never know what to get people because I'm only thinking about what I want, you know? Like, I don't know what to get anyone because I'm only thinking about what I want to get for Christmas. Even though I don't celebrate Christmas anymore. Mm. There's no such thing as Christmas. You're just giving gifts. Gift giving. That's what I'm saying, I only know what I want, I don't know what other people what want. What do you want? An Xbox. An <laughs> Xbox? Yeah. Seriously? Mm. Like Quinnin. A, a cube, a GameCube. No, well, I wouldn't be disappointed with that, that's better than nothing. A GameCube. Would you like fries with that, Quinnin? <laughs> it doesn't even have any cords. How much is one of these games for your game box? Seventy bucks. Seventy bucks. That's enough for a slice of pizza and pack of money blues. Get the boys round. Have a good night. Get some bitches over. <laughs> you don't have any bitches, Les. No, oh, well, you don't. Have any games for your game box? <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> bro, what a salty dog, bro. <laughs> Les is the saltiest character, bro. I'm just saying, we could do with a bit more, Les. Last time I checked, you've got a roof on over, <laughs> you've got a roof above your head, and food under your nose. What do I do? <laughs> bro, what a dog. <laughs> like, bro. It's none of your. It's so petty, bro. Oh, old gods. The elder gods. What's up? Hello, Rose. Thought I'd swing by, see the family. Not a bad time, is it? Oh, no. I was just, you know, tidying the, uh, the, um... I'm so glad you're visiting again, Saga. But Odin and Tor can't see anyone today. I was just on the phone with Tor. He invited me over. Sorry, they had a little too much fun on our trip to Watery and need to rest. I need an excuse to get in and talk to them. That's too bad. 
Okay if I say hi to the other residents before I go? Um... Sure. They always love visitors. Come on in. Not smart to be outside when the sun goes down. I love the architecture. I always dreamed of living in a haunted Victorian manor. <laughs> you say that like it's your first time here. <laughs> Here's some of our residents, or as I like to call them, our little Vikings. Look who swung by, everyone. Norman, clothes. Norman, we have a visitor. Where are your clothes? I'm, I'm headed back to the sauna with Artie. <sighs> Just another day in Valhalla. I should really get back to work, Saga. But feel free to spend some time with Mandy May and Norman here. It's good for them to have company. Tor and Odin are here somewhere. Need to find them. Do either of you know where I could find Tor and Odin? Odin is sleeping upstairs. But your grandpa's been acting crazy. He got electrocuted when he smashed the telephone. Don't make up stories. Tor went loopy and smacked himself in the head with that hammer he's always carrying around. Tor is hurt. Something's wrong with him. Was Tor hurt badly? He never let go of that hammer when he got electrocuted. It looked like a bolt of lightning hit him. Wham! Zap! Thank goodness Blum took the hammer away from him. It's not Tor's hammer, no matter what he keeps saying. <laughs> Blum has his moments, even if he is a Russian. Andy May, you can't say stuff like that. That's some fascinating network, Mandy May. What's your inspiration? Oh, uh, I don't know. It is what it wants to be. Uh, taking a break from making those little ornaments for Rose. Do you knit? I dabbled when I was pregnant. Socks, mittens, the usual stuff. Oh, how about knitting me some underwear? One more crude remark from you, Norman, and I'll put this needle in your ear. Are you, uh... <laughs> so you missed something before as well, um, when I was playing as Alan, we got these tapes. I'll show you later. That's where they're supposed to be, yeah. But you can explore, like this is all new. You need to find a key. Wait, is that the door? Yeah, I'll show you now. Wait, wait. I'll show you right now. Mm -hmm. 